something I, I wrote for the newsletter for next month, and I believe it all ties in. I'll just read it out to you. I just want to lift up, lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Oh, yeah. Folks, understand this. No cross, there's no resurrection. John 10, 18. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. <coughs> this command I have received from my Father. God laid many of these things on my heart. What a perverse generation we live in today. Satan is pouring out his spiritual attacks repeatedly against born against believers. Pouring it out. Increased godlessness, moral depravity, Corruption in high places. Have a look at the governments that rule today. Absolute corruption. No fear of God. Who he will do what we like. Justice cries out to be heard. But it's trodden underfoot. Where is the shame? Good is called evil, evil is called good. Once godly men had become bearers of compromise, telling the people what they want to hear. Don't mention repentance, forgiveness, or submittance. What does it do to us as Christians? This world we live in, we see it day after day, week after week, crying out, Lord, where are you? We can allow this evil to have a crippling effect upon us. Yeah. It's a trial that we must respond to. Yeah. <coughs> How easy is it to allow ourselves to become desensitized <laughs> to the torrent of sin around us? with the effect and purpose of it to take our eyes off Jesus. Mm. Causing our hearts to grow cold. Mm. Causing our love for Jesus to wane. Mm. Spasmodic church attendance follows. More time given to worldliness. Less time spent in the presence of Jesus, Jesus. which leads to spiritual blindness mm -hmm. and eventually death. Oh dear Lord, set me free, Jesus. Set me free. Mm -hmm. And as I was right in this, and I cried out, Lord, set me free. Jesus says, come to the cross with me. Come 
come to the cross with me. Pictures of the cross we see. It's all around us. You go into homes of people and never even go near a church. Father of Jesus on the wall. Cross jewelry. People going, you've seen them making the sign of the cross. Don't even go to church. <laughs> Just remember, without the cross, there is no saviour, no Christianity. The instrument of death. The cross that Jesus was placed upon held him until he died. It was the epitome of the vile, barbaric, dehumanizing, public abasement with the aim of it inflicting the most excruciating pain upon mankind. How evil is the heart of man? No painting could reveal what Jesus went through on our behalf. Isaiah 52, 14. Just as many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any man, and his form marred by beyond human likeness. In obedience to the Father, Jesus hung and died on that tree. His love, act of salvation, redemption, extended to me. Jesus said, son, come often. Come often. And dwell on me at the cross. For in your obedience, it will cancel the dross. Amen. Come to the cross of Christ. There are only two choices you can make. Repent and embrace it or reject it. Either decision will determine where you spend eternity. Choose wisely. I really want to get that into my heart. What a cost, Jesus. To do that, you look at the events, every part of it. Don't look away from it. Mm. 
I think of them in the garden of Gethsemane. His disciple with him. Just wait over there for a moment while I go and pray. He comes back the fast asleep. The agony that came down upon him while he was in that garden. No wonder Gethsemane means the oil press. You imagine the prayer that was on the Lord Jesus Christ. And he chose. He chose. No man put him on it. He chose. Chose. In obedience to his father first. And then his love for us. Amen. Yes. Obedience to the Father. Hallelujah. His arrest taken before Caiaphas. Jesus. Handed on to Pilate, from Pilate to Herod, from Herod back to Pilate. Pilate's wife, don't touch this man. <coughs> she had had a dream. I believe it was given by God. Hail the king of the Jews, imagine the Praetorian guard. Flogged him. 39 lashes. And the scourging it took you just to the edge of death. <clears throat> His back would have been ripped open to shreds. The flagellum they used. Leg balls with metal in them. Tore them apart. How the king of the Jews put a crown on his head and then hit the crown of thorns into his head. Pluck every part of his beard out. Can you imagine it? And then send them through the streets carrying his cross. The crowd imagine it. The announcement that would have gone out, crucifixion taking place just outside the city walls. But on a major thoroughfare it was. Crowd standing round mocking them, get yourself down off that cross. You are the king of the Jews. Mad, isn't it? And what's he saying? Father, forgive them. How, how do we respond like that? said to her mate yesterday how, how do we come to that point forgive them still got time in all the agony and everything humiliation the pain to just show love You'll be with me in paradise this day. How John needs your mother. Mother, there's your son. And then the darkness comes upon the land. Isn't that amazing? And it's birth, 
midnight became day, and its death, midday, became midnight. Oh yeah, Jesus. Darkness. What was happening in that darkness? Better shut up all the mockers. Quietness. That have been terrified. Had God in his grace locked Jesus away in this battle. It, the darkness itself showed you what he was fighting against. Satan and his horse would have loved it at all. For three hours, that darkness across the land. Cries out to his father. It wasn't the scourging. It wasn't the mocking, it wasn't being spat on, it wasn't his beard being pulled out, crown of thorns placed on his head. It was a separation from the Father. But in that total darkness, he fulfilled Isaiah 50 verse 10. Who walks in darkness and has no light, let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon his God. Amen. As soon as Jesus cried out, it is finished. The darkness lifted. He gave up the spirit. Just reading even of the, of the nails, how do we picture it? Nails that we can by. They were more like spikes. Driven through his feet, through his wrists. Imagine the pain every time he tried to reach up to take a breath. <laughs> and people today, what's going on around us today? an interesting thing, David Wilkinson. He used to go and stand outside his church in New York. And he said he'd stand and he'd watch the crowd. He said, I'd see them going into the gay bars, going in to the hotels. He said, getting drunk. Many committing adultery, homosexuality rife, and he said, "You know what God laid on his heart? It may be un hard to understand, but all these people are looking for a peace and a hope." In the very actions that they're 
But that's the main thing they're looking for. You yeah. said they're looking in the wrong places. Jesus. As I dwell more and more upon Christ's crucifixion, the Lord saying, God, I loved you with a perfect love. Please, listen, your sins were laid on me. If the sins are laid on me, they are gone from you. Amen. That's right. Jesus. Amen. So many still try and fall again to the trap where Satan tries to get them stand on their own works. Amen. Lord says it means nothing. I've done it all. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for the cross, Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I just ask, please, keep your hand upon every one of us, Lord. Oh, Father, cause us to take up our cross daily and walk. Oh, Lord, I cry out also, please, as time goes by, draw us closer together. Lord, we're going to need one another. To pray, Lord. Lord, to be able to stand in what is to come. Lord, let us be an encouragement one to another. Lift each other up before you, Lord. Oh, Lord, join us, your people. Join us together, Lord. May we move only in your leading and guidance. Let us be a church that won't move without your direction, Lord. Yes. Father, we thank you for all the blessings. We thank you for the blessing of life itself. We thank you for our homes, cars, finances, health. Lord, thank you, Lord. I just ask, Lord, to bless Helen and Jerry and the family, Lord, opening up their home under you. Thank you, Lord. Bless them, pour your blessings upon the Lord. Oh, Father, let us stand alongside one another, Lord, when you take us through the hard things. Lord, let us be a support one to another. Thank you for this day, Lord. And we give you all the glory and the honour. Every bit of it, Lord. Every bit of it. And what you did upon the cross. On our behalf. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.